good day to everybody. It is January 24th, 2022. And a lot of you have been asking about what it's like driving up still on the front side. And since I have to go down right now, I'm gonna show you guys. We just did the back yesterday. There's not gonna be any more videos for, for a while, you guys. I think we have some snow coming next week. Um, it doesn't look like that much once again, but at least we have something, so that's cool. I'm excited about that. Anyway, it's 10 a.m. and we are headed down to San Bernardino. It's a big bear to San Bernardino. side of town. Remember when we left, uh, we went down the hill on Highway 18 on the back side yesterday. There's, there's, there's more snow over here than there is over there. Nothing on that side. Once again, such a beautiful clear day. I'm hoping it's cloudy down, down the hill so, so we can drive through the clouds and all that good stuff. That'll be really cool, but I have a feeling it's not. the further we go this way the more snow you'll see on the sides of the road but guys it's it's really safe to drive up here you guys should, shouldn't have any problem I'm interested to see what it's like in running springs and whatnot over there even right here there's a lot more snow than we saw yesterday on the left over here This guy in front of us, he's one of the douchebags who drives like a freaking schmuck. Just right on this person's butt. You can tell the person in front is probably a tourist. And look, they're even pulling over for him. That's that's nice of them. Oh, you don't have you don't have to pull over for me, but okay. I'll go. Thank you. Just don't let those people like that in front of us guys get you guys down at all, get you guys upset. pull over like dude just did he didn't even 
put on his hazards or throw up a peace sign or nothing. So don't don't be like that guy. Places over here, Boulder Bay Park. It's so pretty, it really is. Like you can see, there's a lot more snow over here. I didn't mean to call names, you guys. <laughs> you guys have taught me a lot, you guys have helped me grow up a lot. But that's just, that's the perfect example of why people don't like driving up here. I sometimes drive fast, but I'm, I'm not like that. What a gorgeous day again though, guys. My goodness, clear as a bell. I'm interested to see what the views look like on this side of the mountain driving down. <coughs> spots in the road that was probably frozen last night from the snow over here melting into the road so just be careful you guys as I always say when it's when the temperatures are freezing up here just assume that the roads are icy just to make sure you're as safe as possible So when we go down this side of the mountain, we're going down to the populated side of California. Arctic Circle for the next nine or ten miles or something like that. It's called the Little Arctic Circle.
get to the real views, you guys will see how much higher up we are, it seems like, on this side than the other side. But I'm pretty sure, that, like, uh, this mountain range is where the continental plate hits. And dives underneath, or the Pacific plate dives underneath the continental plate and raises the land big time. <coughs> so it's a really cool area. circle is this whole side on the right here just rock slide central we've had people die from these rock slides you guys where the rocks fall down and crush the car okay, so we're way down there you can see way down there just amazing you guys such a beautiful place Around there, that's San Gorgonio. That's the highest peak in Southern California, way up there on the far left. Just peeking out over where Snow Summit is. So, speed limit is 45, and this guy's going 30. So, that's what makes people frustrated up here, you guys. 55 mile an hour speed limit and they're going 30 miles an hour with plenty of space to pull over I'm just I'm just saying you guys I'm not complaining too much I'm just saying like like that like this is what holds people up and makes people very upset driving up and down these mountains look there's a whole area to turn out right here no turnout nothing but it's okay we're getting these beautiful views so that's all right man what a beautiful view can't wait till we get to get a little further up so you guys can really see. It really feels like we're on a plane uh, flying down. that they get all the rocks out of the road. <coughs> it's 
very dangerous. That's probably the most dangerous part of this drive. I mean, look at these rocks are just hanging on by a thread. So anytime we get heavy rain at all, that's the worst. It just erodes it right away and there's not much erosion that needs to take place for these rocks to fall down. You have plenty of spaces you can pull over to let people by. You have nothing to worry about. That's if you care. <laughs> That's if you care. Look at all this snow right here. That's a pretty side of the mountain there. circle typically gets warmer because we're basically driving on some uh, part of the mountain that was dynamited out. They blew it up so it's just a small little crest or shelf you could say on this really steep slope that goes and it's always warmer in the little arctic circle right here. For instance it's 52 degrees right here. Once we get to Snow Valley, down the hill a little bit right here, it'll probably be in the mid 40s. Man, what a beautiful place. 7,112 feet is where we're at right now. As I said, 52 degrees, but it'll be much cooler once we get down here to Snow Valley. that sound my air compressor once in a while turns on even when I'm not using anything it's once in a while so sorry it's so annoying it'll shut off in a couple minutes there's snow valley over there that's the closest ski resort you guys when you're driving up to the mountains so if you don't want to deal with all the people and traffic in Big Bear this is a fun little spot. It's, it's not the biggest resort in the world, but it's fun. It gets pretty packed as well, but for some reason everyone wants to come up to Big Bear. Which is cool.
slow traffic's supposed to stay in the right, but that's okay. Nobody cares about the signs up here. They really don't. curves what we're on right now I think there's 13 turns here lucky number 13 the traffic going up isn't bad at all either it shouldn't be because it's Monday but we're probably gonna come into some road construction up here somehow some way it's always our luck on this side of the mountain range I've never understood why down the mountain they'll do a lot of road work at nighttime when there's less traffic because a lot of people up here have have to commute up and down the mountain and so um, it becomes a nightmare when we have road work going on in the middle of the day. I've always wondered why they, uh, they can't use those really bright lights that they use down the hill at nighttime. Just to make it more convenient for the people that are forced to drive up and down the mountain. I guess you're not really forced. You don't have to live up here or you don't have to live down there and work up here. But who wouldn't want to be up here? It's a beautiful place. It's relaxing. I guess in some ways it's worth the traffic. Terms. And Green Valley Lake is right here to the right. You turn right up here and you go four miles. I think this is the snowiest town when you get up to the top in the San Bernardino National Forest. I believe it's about 7,100 feet up. So it's a little bit higher than Big Bear Lake by about 400 feet or something like that. And this side of the mountain range if this was higher elevation, it would get hit a lot harder.
not too far from the main descent down. We just gotta get through Running Springs here pretty quickly. And then we will be, well, we're on Highway 18 right now. So we went on Highway 18 on the back side yesterday. This is Highway 18 on the front side. And we're gonna take this to Highway 330. You guys can see the roads are in great condition. High school over here, or I'm sure, pretty sure it's a high school. It might be an elementary school, but I'm pretty sure it's a high school. I could be totally wrong, though. Once again, if that high school was at the same elevation as Big Bear, they would get a lot more snow. This side of the mountain range gets hit first with all the storms. There's nothing to block the storms. No mountains to cause, you know, major lift and ringing out the storms right as they're on top of the mountain. This is the first part of the mountain that these storms hit for the most part. Over here and over by a crest line. Wow, uh, look at that down there. So this is how high up we are, guys. I don't know if you can necessarily tell. But look at way down there. Jeez, it's so beautiful. My goodness, what a beautiful day. Good restaurant, Rocky's Roadhouse. I've eaten there quite a few times, especially when there's traffic up here. And you're a little bit tired, just stop in there and grab something to eat. They got some good food. I think I've eaten at this pizza place up here to the left. Neo's Pizza, yep, I've eaten there before. Neo's Pizza. All right, so if you want to stay on Highway 18, you'll go to the right, but we're going to go to the left and head down to San Bernardino. Now we start our descent, our main descent. We've, we've descended down to 6,000 feet already from uh, Big Bear's 6,700 feet. At least where we were driving was about 6,700 feet. Actually, sorry, 6,750, maybe 6,800 feet. I know my house is 6820. I mean, look at this. Look at how beautiful that view is down there. It's not as clear as I was hoping it would be today, but it's still marvelous. It's still, mild, it's still simply marvelous.
more safe for the conditions going, I'm I'm not gonna pass. Like there's there's there, 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 there's just no point because I'm I'm never in that big of a hurry. And look, we're already out of the snow for the most part. I don't see anything anywhere. Those are the San Gabriel Mountains. That's where Wrightwood is, and uh, also Mount Baldy. The 15 freeway goes right in between our our mountain range. It's it's what they call the Cajon Pass. That side of the Cajon Pass is Wrightwood and all those areas, and this side is Big Bear and Arrowhead and all these areas. I think tourism's better up here, you guys. on this road. Unbelievable. So high up, you guys. Doesn't it look like you're coming in on a plane when you're looking down there? traffic on this road, I don't touch my brakes at all. The whole way down. I'm just driving in like third, fourth, and fifth gear out of seven gears. This is a beautiful view out here, out, out towards uh, Palm Springs. You can see this kind of, a, it, it looks pretty dusty out there, but my God, what a beautiful view. Yeah, we're totally out of the snow. We are completely out of the snow. I know a lot of you are gonna be nervous when you uh, drive up, because it's gonna take you till you get up to the top to see some snow. But just know that there is some snow there, and the ski resorts keep on making snow every night that we have freezing temperatures, which is most nights of the year this time of year. A week ago, we had a couple nights where it was like 35 from the low, and they didn't have any snow making going on. But just know the snow, the snow and the conditions are beautiful, you guys for skiing. You guys will love it. I was always so scared riding with my mom up these mountain roads on this side of the mountain range because if you know I was always thinking if we crash we're going over the edge and you're not going to survive that or if you do the chances of you you know of people seeing you are pretty unlikely unless they notice like a big hole in, in these side rails or something and realize that hole hasn't been there last time I came down and maybe someone might consider calling 911 just to say hey there might be an accident but other than that guys it's it's not likely you'll be found right away and it's thousands of feet drop down here this is why people are very 
scared. My aunt, she still, to this day, she still will not drive up here. I think I mentioned that yesterday, but she still will not drive up here. It's already 60 degrees.
cellular tower right there. It's kind of cool how they made them look like trees, or at least attempted to make them look like trees. We didn't hit any road construction, that's amazing. Very cool guys, very cool. five and six years ago it's a whole different person <laughs> you guys have created a whole different person so thank you because usually I'd be in the front of all of these people I would have been upset that they were all lagging but I didn't even really think about these guys it, it's when the speed limit's 55 and there are no obstacles no obstructions no ice no snow and people are going 30 that's when it's, it's very frustrating and they have so many spots to pull out but it's their world, and the world is passing through it. That's what my old baseball coach would say to me. So, Nick, huh, I, I guess it's your world, and the world is passing through it, because I always wanted to pitch, and I was our starting pitcher. I was our number one pitcher on most of the teams I played on, and uh, when I didn't get certain starts, he'd be like, what is it, your world, Nick, and the world is passing through it? <laughs> it would make me so mad when he would say that. last stretch down the mountain. I don't know if, if you guys can see, but we're still a little bit above San Bernardino and Redlands area right there. But this is the last stretch down right here, right around this left corner. And then you'll see the leaving San Bernardino National Forest sign and we're golden. That was quick, you guys. That only took us from my house 45 or about 50 minutes. So from my house to get to the back side of Highway 18, it takes about 15 minutes with no traffic. So 15 minutes plus another 10. So about 25 minutes. Here we go. We just left the San Bernardino National Forest. As soon as we get down here to the, the very bottom, we'll shut this off. Beautiful day, look at how clear it is. And when, when you guys see all this green everywhere down there, it's amazing because this is kind of a desert area too, so it's not nearly the type of desert that they have on the other side of the mountain range, but it's still desert. It's beautiful. Alright, we're in Highland. You guys take 
take care. Hope you enjoyed the ride. As I said, unfortunately, we're not going to have any more videos for a while until we get some more snow. Um, cheers. Thank you guys for everything. And thank you guys once again for helping me become a better man and growing. I know I slipped up a little bit today, but I'm, I'm trying to do the best I can. So thank you guys. I appreciate you all. Take care.